Star Wars 7x7 episode 2486. In our latest What to Watch Now segment, we are continuing our journey with Clone Wars. Not The Clone Wars, just Clone Wars, that series way back when that initially told the story of what went on in between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, Clone Wars was, as we've said in previous Saturdays, produced as three quote-unquote seasons. They're combined into two different groupings inside the Disney Plus app. Those first two seasons are combined into about an hour-long group, and the third season is also combined into an hour-long group. It's only actually five episodes, but there are no episode breaks in there, so you can't necessarily tell how one flows into the other. But there are a couple of main storylines that are pursued as a part of this final season of that Clone War situation. The first thing starts off with how season two ended, which is the introduction of General Grievous and a bunch of clones arriving to try to rescue the Jedi who are facing off with him. Kiedi Mundi is the only one at the time the clones arrive to still be fighting Grievous and he's kind of losing his mind. Like he said, you have to kill him, you have to destroy him. And they're able to rescue him, the clones are, as well as Ayla Sakura and Shakti, although the both of them are badly wounded and Kiedi Mundi is, of course, all the more stressed out, I guess, because of this. And the other three Jedi that had been there were lost, unfortunately. From there we get the you know, story splitting apart into the dark side and the light side, if you will, where we learn about Anakin actually being promoted from a Padawan to a Jedi Knight. And there are a couple of really beautiful moments in these episodes, like when you know Anakin is actually at the ceremony where he becomes a knight and Yoda uses his lightsaber to flick the Padawan braid off, like cuts it off of Anakin and that's part of the ceremony where he's no longer Padawan, he's a knight. And there's a moment where the braid is delivered to Padme and Padme puts it in a keepsake box alongside the pendant that Anakin made for her when he was just nine years old. And I thought that was just really a beautiful moment and well done. And the episodes go on to show Obi-Wan and Anakin not as you know, master and Padawan, but as brothers as Obi-Wan describes it, and they go, you know, beat one, you know, separatist <laughs> fortress, and then you know, deal with another situation on a planet called Nelvon, which certainly seems like it is meant to be a play on Nelvana, which is, of course, the animation studio that did the first Star Wars cartoon, the story of the faithful Wookiee, which was featured in the Star Wars Holiday Special. And on the dark side situation, we get a scene of Count Dooku training General Grievous, which is good fun. And <laughs> there's actually some like serious instruction about you know, controlling his center line and you know all these other things that sound like, oh my gosh, he is actually teaching Grievous technique. And they're actually talking legitimately about technique in it. So just, you know, the very similitude in there is really awesome. And there's a neat parallel of sorts because they talk about how the Jedi and the Republic have been sort of spread out across the Outer Rim. And as a result, you know, their forces are thinned out and so they can plan their next attack, which is a daring attack on Coruscant. And for me, that brought me right back to Return of the Jedi in 1983 and Mon Mothma talking about how the Empire was spread out in a vain attempt to engage the Rebellion's forces and that that would be a help of sorts for them to be able to stage their attack on the second Death Star. Or at least, so they thought. But you get the idea. <laughs> the parallel is there. And so, you know, the rest of the season goes right into the you know, preceding events for Revenge of the Sith. And we will talk about that in the final What to Watch episode that we talk about Clone Wars in. But it's not going to happen this episode. And it's also not going to happen next Saturday because 
over the next few days, I have something kind of special planned and I'm really excited to share it with you. It's been a pretty bizarre journey to be able to do it and uh, I'm, yeah, I'll explain all of that tomorrow. But for now, <laughs> that is just some of the highlights of the first half of that final season of Clone Wars and that's going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.